quid pro quo. Your little insurance policy in case anything happens to Bo. Yeah, we find out first and you pay, right? Oh, at least I'll have something to keep my mind off, Bo. Oh, okay. Ignoring me. That's mature. Or we could talk about it like two grown adults. You know, there's a novel idea. Why would I want to talk about Bo's emancipation with you? You've been wanting to talk about this all night, haven't you, Tamsin? Hmm? Go ahead. You, me, Bo. Look, Orin. I entered the game and I lost. That's life. The best woman won. I'm over it, and you should be too. Oh. Well, that's very noble of you. Not really sure what to say. Oh, this is nice. What the hell are these? Are these restraints? Okay, before you overreact, let me explain. Why you'd want to restrain a child that makes me not want to kill you? Is that possible? No. No, I don't think it is at all. Okay, look, we didn't... We didn't do it to hurt her. We did it because we have to. Why? Why do you tie up a little girl while you sleep? Are you afraid of her? Doesn't make any sense. Powerful fae like them. Except what if Iris is more powerful than they are? I just talked to Trick at the doll. There's no sign of them there. Is this the place? Precinct said there's a disturbance at the south end of the park. A girl matching Iris's description. Police are on their way. Well, then let's get to her before they do. This is Mark's. That is way more blood than I like. He went that way. That's west. Go. I'll go south, get Iris. But wait. What? Oh boy, yes. Okay, Iris. Time to find out what makes you so powerful.